Welcome to Red Dead Redemption 2. Today we're going to be going over the only mod that you need because this mod pretty much lets you do anything. The mod is called Rampage Trainer and today we're going to be going over all the features to show you exactly what you can do. We'll be covering how to go from Arthur to John, turn into animals like the Panther or even play around with some of the crazy effects like uh, the teleport gun. So to start out if you want to know how to install this I'll leave a link to the tutorial I made. So feel free to check that out if you like all the features of Rampage Trainer. So to get started by default, the hotkeys are F5. That'll open up the menu. You can also open it up with the controller buttons as well. So for Xbox, it would be pressing RB and A at the same time. PlayStation would be R1 and X at the same time. First start out with the player menu. So we have a bunch of different categories we can choose from. We'll go down to the toggle section first. So you have God mode where you just become invincible. Auto heal where you automatically heal your health if you get damaged. Ghost mode will make your character invisible, but it doesn't affect your sneak. <laughs> I've tried it. Infinite stamina is self-explanatory. Never wanted, so you can go and commit crimes without the police chasing you. If you're being pursued by the coppers, you can automatically end it. Now they're acting like I never shot anybody. If you put on everyone ignore, everybody ignores you. Nobody will say hi or even care what you're doing. You can have the same for the wild animals as well. You get infinite of swim, so you can swim forever with no stamina drain. So if you're trying to sneak behind somebody, this is level 100 sneak skill. The super jump will allow you to <laughs> super jump like the Hulk. Let's go, Arthur. Then they have an ultra jump, which is, oh, it's like double. Yeah, it's double the uh, the super jump. <laughs> player scale, so you can scale your player all the way down. This is how we did the uh, mini Morgan animal hunting series. And I mean, he can get really small. It's like what cockroach size right there. And then alternatively, you can make him big, big, big. So you can obviously make him super huge. Maybe you don't want to go with this big of a Arthur Morgan because he's... <laughs> Definitely glitched out. <laughs> okay, now he's but now he's under the ground. Okay, but yeah, this is an option if you want to go super size Morgan. Huh? You can disable ragdoll. So when you get knocked over by an explosion or fall off your horse or something like that, super run. It's gonna allow you to run really fast. Why do I look like a uh, like Arthur's legs are broken? You have the passive run, just says your head speed increases passively. I'm not I'm not uh, too sure what it's referring to. Oh, player opacity. So you got player opacity, so you can kind of, uh, I guess, look like a ghost if you wanted to. If you turn on the quick skin, it'll just be a, it'll be an instant skin of an animal, so you don't have to go through that small cutscene. You can have a fly mode, so your jump key is gonna make you fly. Oh, we're going too high. Oh no, we're going too, we're going to space, bitch. I'm coming to see you, bitch. And then once you turn fly mode off, you're going to go straight down to the ground. He's actually fallen for quite a while. Wow. Oh, okay, Arthur. He's still alive, though. See, God mode will protect you. And see, disable player collision. I'm not gonna do that right now. Well, if you disable player collision, you can basically, yeah, you'll you're gonna fall through the world like that and <laughs> not have a good time. Okay. Oh, let's see. Clip through objects. Let's test this one out. Okay. So, okay, I see. So you kind of uh, your character kind of clips through some things. I wonder if you can pass through people. Uh, you kind of you kind of just clip them. I'm not sure what use case you would use this for, but it's an option. There is a force field. So if you get close to people, you're basically push them away <laughs> at an accelerated pace. So if you run up to the uh, cares guy, yeah, we're just pushing them. If you come up right behind this girl, she is going to be, yeah, she doesn't you know what to do. Oh, she's going up in the sky. Uh, yeah, everybody's just getting pushed. It's actually really cool. <laughs> then we have cores never drain. So your health, stamina, and dead eye core, you'll have infinite amount. You can overpower those cores so they're even stronger. You can always have a clean pet if you want to, so you can activate that. You'll never have mud or blood decals on you. You can be drunk all the time if you want. So the more you turn it up, the drunker Arthur or John will be. <laughs> you had too many whiskeys. Boost cores is almost like the same thing as cores overpowered. It's just a uh, it's just a click of a button though. And then if your cores are down, you can automatically refill them with this one. We got an instant heal too. If we clone our character, we can have <laughs> two Arthurs. Arthur. It looks like he's a uh, he's a uh, it's a friendly clone though. You can pop open a brewski from the menu. Okay. Saludos. You can do the same for whiskey. You can take a quick health cure. Nice. You can do an instant ragdoll. You can instantly get wanted. So now they're investigating me, even though there's an officer right here. He's not gonna say nothing. But now they found me. Yep. And then you can unalive yourself right here. 
So that's it for the toggle section under player. Now we have scenarios and this is basically just emotes. If you click on a scenario, Arthur will basically just act it out. And there are a bunch to choose from. Some of them could look awkward if they don't have the uh, the right furniture or whatever near them. But you got ones that work right off the bat, such as some various seating ones. Oh, it even brings out props too. We also have animations as well. So you can search up an animation, which is almost the same as scenarios and their animations other NPCs do, which can kind of look awkward for Arthur. All right, now we're in wardrobe. This is one of the menus I think a lot of people will use. Under load and save, you can save the current outfit that you're wearing and you can even give it a name to describe it. So if you ever have the issue of your clothes not being on your character or your characters in some kind of different outfit, you can quick save it and then load it up from this menu. If we go over to model changer, this is where you can force the player type. So right now we're Arthur. We can go to John instantly. You can enable these if you change into an animal. And then under humans, you have a whole list of NPCs you can find throughout the game. So whoever you can think of, you can spawn in as them. You can even spawn in as some of the online characters as well. So all those Red Dead online characters are available to be as well. You can also spawn in horses. So any horse that you're looking for, we'll go with the White Arabian. In this case, this makes me be the horse, but there is a way to spawn it that you can actually use as well. But if you ever wanted to roleplay as a horse, <laughs> you can. Then I know a lot of people have been asking about this. You can be any animal that you want. So as long as you enable the bird controls, you can fly as a bird, which is this is actually the first time I'm trying it out. It's actually really nice. So you can go sightsee as your favorite bird. You could even be a snake and slither across the ground and then even a big old crocodile. Any animal you want to be, you can play as it. All right, moving on to apply damage packs. So here you can apply different effects, which is why it's called damage packs. So if you've ever seen a damaged enemy or Arthur get hurt himself, those are the things you can apply. You can change your walk styles. Hair and weight can also be modified. So you can change your weight based on numeric values. And then you can adjust your hair and beard. If you want these effects to apply though, you can press apply instantly, but you need to go to the barber as well. So at the barber, when you select a style, that's when you'll see that hair length come through. So that was the hair. You can do the facial hair as well. And then as you can see, as soon as we select a style, you'll have that full length you adjusted it to in that trainer. Meta pet tags, I'm not all too sure what that is, but I don't think it's something I would use anyway. If you click on the wardrobe cam, you'll have a nice little viewing area to see your outfits. So you can change the variations. And these are quick and easy outfits you can just change to automatically. It even has the police officer one. You can do random components as well, which will totally randomize Arthur. So you can get some pretty cool looks and then customize from there. Or you can remove all components, which will remove everything. And it looks kind of weird because I have some mods modifying Arthur's body. And then you can go back to your default components straight from the game. You can automatically drop your hat, remove your offhand holster if you want that. You can remove your satchel. You can do the never lose hat, which will just basically make you pick up your hat as soon as it falls off. You see your hat still falls off. Arthur just automatically picks it back up after the fact. And then under the components, you can change everything one by one. So whatever accessories the game has to offer, the base game, you can pick and choose what you want. You can even disable components. So if you wanted to, you can make an outfit choosing one by one or make a couple outfits and then save it inside this trainer so you can swap back and forth when you want to. And this has everything you could need, even the stuff you need to unlock. All right, moving on to vision now. This just applies various effects. So that was a blink. So you can do things like this where it has those animations. I don't think it's something people would really use. You have time cycle modifiers, which looks like it basically applies different LUTs to your scene, which is another something I don't think a lot of people would use. And then in effects, you can do a variety of effects, which are actually really cool. All it is is visual, but it could be used for some cinematic purposes. All right, and then in emotes, it's exactly what it says. So you can do various emotes. You can choose an emote type and then select the dance that you want. I had no idea Arthur could dance that good, honestly. He actually got the moves. In the play speech menu, you can play speech. Ready? Now in the moods menu, you can cycle between various moods Arthur can do. So you see that his facial animations are changing. This would be good for taking screenshots. And then in abilities, you're able to enable a health and stamina passive recharge. You can disable your dead eye or give yourself unlimited dead eye. You can change your dead eye level, disable eagle eye or have unlimited eagle eye, and then allow eagle eye while you're on your horse or even sprinting. In the player proofs, you can proof yourself against anything. So you can be immune to a bunch of different things. And then configuration flags, I'm not too sure, but I doubt it's something you would use. 
All right, so that was the player menu. Now we're in the horse menu. So in order to use the horse menu, you need to be on a horse. And then in the stats, you can change the gender of your horse. You can max out the horse cores and your bonding level, and you can manually adjust it yourself. So you can have a fully maxed out horse in just a few seconds. You can even increase the weight to 100 or 50 or whatever you need it to be. But all of this doesn't persist through saves. So every time you log back into the game, you'll have to readjust these. In the mobile stable, you're fully able to customize your horse. So you can change all your components from saddles to saddle bags. And then you can even change the actual horse hairs. So as it says, it is a mobile stable. You're even able to do some body components. So these are kind of like different accessories that you wouldn't normally be able to get. So it looks like you can have different loadouts on this. And then of course you can load and save different loadouts or different horses and then load them up whenever you need them. In the blip menu, you can add a blip to wherever your horse is. You can teleport to your horse or have that horse teleport to you. And then we have some similar options you found in the player menu. So you can make your horse invincible, invisible, have his stamina never drain, no ragdoll for the horse. You can scale your horse the same as Arthur. So you can make it super huge or you can make it really small. And then you can enable super speed so you can go <laughs> faster than usual a horse fly mode which <laughs> made me go through the world and then you can customize your horse cores as well have your horse stay calm always in any situation you can give your horse some flaming hooves have your horse always clean and then you got the same clone option that must be the mama horse and then if this is a horse that you did spawn in you can actually set it as your primary horse all right moving on to weapons under managed weapons you can view your weapon locker you can equip weapons straight from here. You can give or remove ammo from yourself or individually give you different ammo types. The give all will give you every weapon in the game. So if you do that option, you can either go into your weapon locker or you can access those weapons from your horse. And if you didn't want all those weapons, you can always remove them as well or drop the one you're currently holding. You can automatically upgrade the gun that you're holding. And then if we scroll down a bit, these are gonna be the different categories of weapons. It looks like it even has Red Dead Online weapons. So you can even grab yourself one of these. You can have ammo modifiers. You can give it an explosive property, which you're basically shooting grenades or even something like a Molotov. You basically have a bunch of different effects. You can even make your bullets act like arrows. You can have electrified bullets, magical explosions, and even fireworks shots. Whoa, whoa, that's actually really cool. You can also do a shrink ray or make a giant ray. <laughs> Lenny! The coordinates gun will show you coordinates, I guess. Let's see the remote cannon. What does this do? Oh, <laughs> okay. That's yeah, a remote cannon. Let's see, we have a ped gun. What is that? Let's see, what is this ped gun now? Did I shoot him with a black bear? Oh, yeah. So whatever you choose for the ped gun, you shoot that ped at that person. <laughs> yeah, see the bullets are turning into that ped that I summoned. It's kind of weird. You also have a vehicle gun. <laughs> that's, a, that's a straight up oil wagon. See, so we have a traveler wagon as well. Oh, yeah. All right. And if we go over to aimbot, I guess you can change your aim style. So you have free aim, you have assisted aim, and I guess you have the traditional GTA aim. See, so we got aimbot. Doesn't matter where you're aiming, your bullet is going to, it's going to hit its shot. <laughs> then you have auto shoot. So if you have aimbot and then auto shoot on, it's going to automatically shoot. Arthur is over here breaking his back. Oh, there you go. Yeah, he is shooting everybody right now. That is true auto aim. All right, in the visuals, we have invisible weapon. <laughs> so you can shoot your rifles or your pistols invisible style. You can change the opacity of your weapon. You can change the crosshairs as well. It's actually really cool. And then you can even change the uh, the color of it. Wow, that is nice. I did not know you could do that. You can enable no degradation, automatic cleaning, or even apply dirt if you wanted to. And then if you don't like that kill reticle or the hit marker, you can disable that. If we go under modifiers, you can change the specific stats of a gun. So you can increase the damage if you want to or even make the gun bigger. So now we have a big <laughs> Litchfield repeater, which is kind of OP now. You can disable dual wield, always kill cam. What does that look like? Oh man, always kill cam. I did not know that was an option. You can do a bunch of different things with that. Okay, that is actually really good to know. Always kill cam, wow, this is nice. You have slow motion on aiming, so I think it's only applies to scoped weapons with that slow-mo automatic you got rapid fire which will give you a mini cannon <laughs> it'll give you a mini cannon for a gun you have the rapid gun 
just a straight up machine gun. Oh my goodness. If you apply that with kill, always kill cam, wait, what can you get? Oh my goodness. That is brutal. We got auto cock. This can basically replace that quick draw mod. Shoot fast bullets in triple range. Okay, so it's just a uh, another version. A little bit farther, I'm guessing. You can do explosive ammo, which will absolutely blow people up. That's kind of intense. You can do fire ammo, set people on fire, or oh, horses. Got the infinite ammo option, no reload option. You can enable one hit kills. So wherever you hit them, they'll automatically die. Super punch does more melee damage. We got the teleport gun, so wherever you shoot, you will teleport there. That could be used for some handy situations. We got a lightning strike gun. What is that? Oh, wow. That's actually cool. Lightning strike gun. Thor has consumed you. We have a gravity gun. Let's see, what does this do? Oh, okay. You get close to got you get close to people and you basically can throw them around with gravity. Oh, and we got the soul swap gun. Let's see what that does. Oh, okay. <laughs> We swapped uh, bodies, okay? <laughs> Let me go back to Arthur. I can't go back to Arthur. We have the rope gun. Oh, is that a lasso? So we got a lasso type thing. Yeah, he's like, uh, he's connected to me. Oh, so we have a magnet gun. Let's see what this does. Oh, okay. So if you're aiming, all the metal will come at you at a quick pace. Oh no. We got the pickup gun. Ah, so you aim at somebody and you can pick it up. We have a portal gun. What is that? Oh, okay. There is a portal now. What is that? Is it the fire a portal? I see we have to check it out. Where are we at? Where are we going? Where would the portal to take us? I think it just send us high in the sky. Oh, wait. I think we're just in a random location. Okay. Uh, perfect pelt gun. Okay. You shoot an animal with this, it'll automatically get the uh, perfect pelt. See, we have the force gun. Is there going to tell you about my limited warranty? Oh, okay. That's force gun right there. It's a big shot. We have a drive it gun. So if you shoot horses or applicable vehicles, okay, you automatically equip onto them. I see weapon laser. What is that? Oh, laser sight on aiming. Okay. A debug gun. It tells you some stats with the debug gun. It's pretty cool. You can delete guns. Okay. Oh, revive gun. Okay. Let us, let's revive this man. He's alive. He's a zombie. Sorry for killing you, man, in the first place. See disco lantern. So this is supposed to be the disco lantern. Pretty sure it doesn't work because I have the old lantern mod installed. Okay, that's it for that. Now next is vehicle. Now the vehicle page, you can do a bunch of stuff with. You can make your vehicle invincible. So if you either hijack a vehicle or spawn one in, which we'll get to that, you have a lot of different options to really customize it. Now under teleport, I use this feature all the time. So if you set a waypoint on the map, you can press this to teleport to that waypoint. And if we have auto teleport to waypoint checked, we're able to place a waypoint. And then as soon as we exit the map, we will automatically teleport over there. You can choose your teleport animation, and then you can even have custom locations that you can save. Under locations is basically every location you could want to go. We even have locations such as where your last vehicle was, horse, or even the closest train track. They have common locations, all of your towns and or relevant spots, all these story mode camps and safe houses, any shops or services. So you can go anywhere from the trapper to the gunsmith. And then you have different smaller points around the map. So you can basically go anywhere at any time in just like a few seconds, honestly, which is pretty cool. All right. So if you go into the spawner, you can spawn pretty much anything you want. So under vehicles, if you're near the train tracks, you can get a train. You have a bunch of different wagon types. You see, you can coast the map around in style. You have boats you can spawn. You can spawn in some weapon types too. Oh, wow. That's kind of uh, OP. Oh no. Ah, then it looks like you can do a uh, high herbal lane too. That's pretty cool. Now for pets, you can spawn in any pet that you want. So you can do random NPCs. If we go into horses and back to the Raven with the white coat, this horse can now be yours. Maybe you don't want white though. You want a red chestnut. You got yourself a red chestnut. You can spawn in any animal, including legendary animals. So you can spawn in a couple of bull gators if you want to. These ones ran away though. You can do fishes and even search for pets if you know their name. And then under spawner settings, you can actually customize how that ped spawns in. So you can spawn them in dead, sedated. You can spawn them in as a bodyguard or an enemy if you want to do combat with them. And then you can even scale how large or small they are and their health. You can even spawn in objects as well, which I haven't really messed with, but you can kind of set up your own scene. So you can set up different props such as campsites. So you can make your own makeshift cozy type of home. 
you can get into a lot of detail too. If you get into the cam settings and then creator cam, you can actually almost get into like a uh, map editor type of setup. All right, moving on to the world. I mess around with inside of this menu as well. So in the time menu, you can actually change the time of day. So you can make it go from early, early morning to mid afternoon, or maybe you want to catch a sunset. You can also change the day, month and year, or you can even change the time cycle. So you can slow down your days and nights. If you want the time of day to stay at a certain point, you can always stop time and then you have an option to automatically take you to sunrise midday or even sunset under the weather tab you can totally customize the weather so every weather type you've seen you can instantly add it in game so you got some pretty cool ones we got overcast a darker version of overcast a slight drizzle you got some actual rain add in some thunder in there the straight up thunderstorm there we go that high pressure I think it makes it a little bit more windy so you have a hurricane preset i don't think an actual hurricane comes but you get that type of weather you can even have hail come down i don't think i've seen hail in game though and then you can even make it uh be a blizzard or a white out snow sandstorm in the middle of sand and knee warmer horizon and halloween override would work if you're not using a another visual mod you put on snow mode to put snow on the ground so yeah you can really customize it i really like the uh, way the sunset is looking right now if we go into the water menu you can actually change the way the water looks so you can get different guarma water at the hurricane water over here you're able to actually walk underwater which is probably no reason to because it looks bare you can even disable the water entirely or if you prefer you can make it clear so you can just see straight through you also have a cloud editor so you can basically remove the clouds or you can kind of change the look or orientation of where the clouds appear we have some additional cool effects under tornado so you can have a meteor shower and you'll start seeing meteors fly from the sky and do some damage oh oh it even rocks the world and if that's not enough you can enable a tornado as well as a black hole to complement it you can enable fireworks that seemingly come out of nowhere and you can even quick camp from this menu as well but this style will take you outside of uh, a city if you're in there we have some miscellaneous things as well which i think for the most part you'll find mini games pretty fun so if you do undead nightmare 2 it'll turn dark and now you have to face a horde of a hundred zombies if you do make it to the end though there is a special boss that you'll see you can do a pretty cool top down camera if you want to play rdr2 in arcade mode and then under character stats you can change a bunch of things about your character so you can give yourself unlimited money you can add items or even have unlimited items you can add or decrease your honor level clear any bounties you may have gained in different cities you can do a bunch of in-game things such as reveal the map you can unlock various outfits, unlock some weapons, recipes, and even discover everything that has to be discovered in the game. They even have a single player achievements option, which is crazy. Under collectibles, you can collect all the collectibles. So if you wanted to collect the dream catchers, you could automatically teleport to that location and then collect it. You can do that for dino bones, rock carvings, exotics, legendary animal locations, the cigarette cards and grave locations as well. And then under cores, you can maximize your health, stamina, dead eye. So you have a fully upgraded character. And then the last menu settings, this is basically changing the settings of Rampage itself. So you can change the hotkey in which you open this up with. You can load and save different configurations. So if you have certain options you always want checked when you load in, you can save that in here. So every time you load in, you will start the game with your settings. You can even change the theme of it as well. So it doesn't need to be red like mine. And that is it. If you weren't convinced before to download Rampage Trainer, hopefully all the features that you saw will convince you. You could definitely just install this one mod and have the time of your life. If you enjoyed this, make sure to like and subscribe because we have a lot more modding videos coming up tutorials all of that but if you do have another mod you would like a deep dive kind of like rampage trainer feel free to let me know down in the comments and we'll see you next time